Okay, we're, we're here on the rim of the Valley del Bove at 2,000 metres, about, about 6,000 feet, and we've got a spectacular view in front of us. Valley del Bove here forms this horseshoe-shaped feature, uh, and this is a collapse feature that probably happened about 10,000 years ago. The collapse of the Valley del Bove has revealed uh, some of the early history of Mount Etna. So if we look down into the Valley del Bove, we can see uh, dipping pyroclastic uh, deposits uh, associated with what are called the Valley del Bove volcanic centers. There's a series of small volcanoes uh, which date from about 120,000 years ago to 60,000 years ago. So you can see the, there's variable dips. One of the other features that we can see here is um, a whole series of sub-vertical dikes which cut the stratigraphy, so they cut the, uh, the volcanics of the Valley del Bove centres, both here on the, uh, the southern wall of the Valley del Bove, and we can see right across to the northern wall of the Valley del Bove, we can see a whole series of dikes. So clearly these dikes are the plumbing system, so this is where the magma moves up these dikes and feeds the, the pyroclastics, it feeds the lava flows that we can see uh, forming the stratigraphy. Higher up on the, uh, the head wall of the Valley del Bove, you can see very gently dipping almost horizontal sheets of basaltic lava. That's the Illitico, uh, part of the Illitico vol volcanic edifice, which developed from 60,000 years ago to 15,000 years. The Alitica was much higher than the present day Etna, maybe uh, another 500 metres higher or so. At 15,000 years ago, there was a major caldera collapse episode which ended the Alitico phase lavas. And then you can see the more recent lavas that have developed, these volcanic cones right on the top of Mount Etna, which date from uh, volcanic acti activity from 15,000 years ago. And in front of us, we can see the most recent volcanic cone, that's the New Southeast Cone, that's only a few years old. And you can see the volcanic cone is very close, it's grown very close to the edge of the Valley del Bove. And in fact, uh, there is some concern that uh, uh, the uh, uh, the side of that uh, new southeast cone could collapse into uh, the Valle del Bove. There are various lava flows that have flown from the new southeast cone down into the Valle del Bove and just uh, down in the bottom of the Valle del Bove you can see a, a volcanic cone which is now being engulfed so it's a incredible situation here that we because the side of the volcano collapsed perhaps 10,000 years ago that reveals the stratigraphy otherwise if we'd built a large strato volcano of course we would simply cover the early the earlier evidence of the volcano 